Ladies and gentlemen, once more, I give you our two fighters tonight. In the blue corner, Rasmus Benston. And in the red corner, Abdul Mohammed. It's our top of the bill fight in our decimation fight card. The Pro 10th Legion Championship lightweight world title at stake. Three five minute rounds and your referee is Mr. Trevor Mitchell. Our teletape for this, our main event of the evening for the Tenth Leader Championship lightweight world title. In the blue corner, Rasmus Benson, 26 years of age, 5 feet 8 inches tall, 10 and 2 is his record, trains out of the fight pit and extreme cold tour. Meanwhile, Abdul Muhammad, 35 years of age, 5 feet 6 inches tall, 16, 8 and 3 is his record, trains at Wolf Lair and with Ian Freeman from Kabul, Afghanistan, Rasmus Benson, Abdul Muhammad, and we are underway. Our referee in charge, Trevor Mitchell. A two inch reach advantage for Rasmus Benson. Part of this moment he's been looking forward to the entire week. What a tremendous lightweight clash we have right before us. This is going to be one hell of a main event when you think Abdul Muhammad has a machine Freeman in his corner. You really want to wonder what kind of tricks Abdul Muhammad is going to have up his sleeve in preparation for this main event title fight. Abdul Muhammad coming off with two consecutive losses. Rasmus Benson knows the pedigree that Muhammad possesses. He was known as the kingpin of the lightweight European division for quite some time. Benson actually trained, went to train at Extreme Couture under the likes of Gray Maynard, Tyson Griffin, and all those fantastic wrestlers and fantastic lightweights, world-class lightweights in the UFC that are at Extreme Couture, Dan. It seems by the sounds of, by the sounds of things up so far, you've got them both want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe striking. It's exactly what we want when you come to a night and main event title like this. Abdul Muhammad is known as the Slam Man, and he has yet to go for a shot as of yet. Rasmus Benson has a signature left hook, and right now they're in the clinch. And this is Muhammad Abdul, or Abdul Muhammad's world as he's looking to in the clinch now, Rasmus Benson. Benson had a 10-week training camp for this fight. He trained with also fellow Danish fighter, UFC welterweight, Martin the Hitman Catman. So he's very well prepared for this fight, especially somebody like Abdul Muhammad, 35 years of age, a veteran. He's been at the top of the heap. He's fought everywhere in Great Britain and has fought at the top of the heap. He's been big bill after big bill and is really coming to fight. The question against Rasmus is can he stand up to the pressure of being the main event and a takedown? by Abdul Mohammed. I didn't see it being a wise thing for Rasmus to want to get up close and personal with Abdul, especially in a grappling game when Abdul basically is built for grappling. Abdul Mohammed, he has notable wins over the who's who in mixed martial arts. Jess Loudon, Gene Silva, and Tofu and Ross Pearson. He scored a highlight reel spinning back this knockout over Ross Pearson, and his, his credentials are endless is Abdul Muhammad. He was also a former national wrestler with the Afghani wrestling team. So this guy has a pedigree that is just unmatched. And it's no surprise exactly what he's doing here. He is dominating in the wrestling background, as you mentioned previously, Ray. As you can see here, he's currently on top, dominating this position. When you can fight through a draw with Paul Daly and with UFC lightweight Andre Winner, that says a lot about you, including the wins as we mentioned, Abdul Muhammad knows he's got to get this victory in order to show everyone that he's back now. A guillotine choke attempt for Abdul Muhammad. He's got that, wondering how deep it is. He's cranking in on it. Rasmus Benson in his half guard. And Benson pulls out, stands up to his feet. And that Beautiful is exactly work by Rasmus Benson. This is exactly what they've been working on in the Extreme Cold Tour. Going down, being on your back, and coming to your feet, finding a way to get up and stand, because it's no secret that Rasmus Benson wants to use his reach advantage, but Abdul Muhammad, known as the slam man, wants to use his power. He's one of the strongest lightweights out there in the game today. Benson needs to make sure he uses that cage for his advantage, because like you say, Abdul Muhammad wants to go for the big, heavy takedown. He's small, he's compact, but he's built like a brick house. And if he gets the opportunity, he will smash Benson to the ground. He's got that double leg in. If we know anything, Abdul Muhammad, he picks him up. The slam man getting ready to live up to the and he slams him. But it wasn't with the authority and the impact that he thought. Still, he gets the takedown on Rasmus Benson. Abdul Muhammad trains at Wolves Lair with the likes of the Who's Who and MMA as well. With Michael Bisping, Paul Kelly, Quinn Rampage, Jackson Chekongo, 
I mean, these, these fighters are literally world-class athletes. These are two of the best lightweights in all of Europe going head-to-head -head in such an event of this magnitude. Death League and Championship fighting the main event here at Decimation. A sold-out crowd enjoying this event, enjoying this fight here at the Gemtech Arena and everyone sitting on the edge of their seats there. They're both going to have to pace themselves, though, because in a fight like this with two fighters of the highest caliber, it only takes one mistake to be made for the other one to capitalize. Right now, and a beautiful elbow from his guard. Rasmus Benson, and although Abdul Muhammad has gotten several takedowns, he's not really been able to inflict his ground and pound. He's known for his vicious ground and pound, inability to open fighters up. And there we go, at, on point, with the elbow to the side of the head of Rasmus Benson. Benson's looking for that opportunity to try and get out and capitalize and to make it something constructive, but there's just nothing he can do. Abdul is on top of him 24-7, and he's just too powerful at present. Ten seconds to go, and it looks like that is the end of round one. Abdul Muhammad getting the takedown, and that may have won him the very first round. Looking at your scorecards, we go to Dan Singh's scorecards. Dan, how do you have the fight? So well, far? it was clear to me that Abdul was clearly the dominant one in that round. And if he continues being unlike that, he's going to go clearly go over by score points. Rasmus Benson has been training for a war. He's on a three-fight win streak. Knows that he can expose the reach advantage of Abdul Muhammad, but Muhammad showing his veteran prowess and his ability. And he's just, he's been against every, everybody and anybody. And he's been in bad position after bad position. So there's nothing you're going to throw at Abdul Muhammad that he hasn't seen before. It makes you wonder what his game plan is there. Because Abdul Muhammad is carrying a lot more muscle mass by the looks of things than Rasmus Benston. So is Benson going to try to absorb as much damage as possible to really take, take advantage of when Muhammad gets tired enough that he can take advantage of that point? What's going to happen next? Who knows? Although Muhammad suffered or got the takedown on Benson, Muhammad, or Rasmus Benson did not... He didn't get tagged too much from the ground, from the ground and pounder. He looks fresh. There wasn't much damage inflicted upon Rasmus Benson by Abdul Muhammad. Here we go. Round two scheduled for three for the 10th Legion.